So, uh, we are a group of creative technologies here in the Middlesex University, the Department of Science and Technology. We're working in a research called R&D bottle, research and development bottle. So we've designed a simple, cheap bottle that we put a lot of technology parts inside and put it in the lake to like, gathering and collecting lots of data from lake and storage it somewhere inside and sending through SMS to the users and researchers. So about uh, the Arduino parts, we have had and used uh, eight Arduino parts inside. Uh, first of all, we have pH meters to measuring the amount of pH and changing the level of pH inside the lake and then uh, turbidity meter uh, thermistors to measure the level of temperature changes and then all the information uh, transferred uh, to uh, micro SD cards so we have all information inside the bottle so every uh, five minutes or half an hour we will send the information via uh, SIM cards or mobile phone as a short message and SMS and then uh, we have GPRS inside to uh, locate the exact locations of the bottle to, uh, you know, collecting the bottle and a power bank to uh, give the enough source of energy to sending, uh, measuring all the data and sending the information to the researchers. During the process, we, we have tested all the components individually and then calibrate some of them, for example, pH meters and turbidity meters needs calibrating, and then um, we soldering some parts of uh, components to be as a whole and combine all together, and we, we have developed a wiring diagram to clearly uh, define every single connections via uh, Arduino boards and all other components. And we put it all in the bottle, in a plastic bottle that's really cheap for the researcher to uh, buy it and put it, all these components inside and apply it for their researches. We have drawn a full detailed diagram for connecting all the Arduino parts together in terms of wiring, we have designed it based on our final coding and all its corresponding connections. It can be both used as wiring instruction as a whole and as a tool showing the components in relation to each other. We experienced some challenges in the process of making our prototype. For example, combining different bits of codes was time consuming and we tested many snippets together to find the most compatible uh, ones with our electronic components. As we had various components, we had to change the default pins in our Arduino boards and that proved quite difficult. Also, some parts of the code were not compatible with our product version, so we had to change them accordingly. Also, soldering all the parts together was another tough challenge. Since we had to connect the components in such a way it was possible to seal the bottle with silicon and make it waterproof. Stabilizing the bottle was another challenge given that we needed to fill the bottle with some humidity absorbent salts in the real version and this material is very challenging to work with. And finally in terms of designing, it was a challenge to design the shell to easily open and close. For future ideas, we could add several different components to a project to improve both the functionality and the design of the bottle. For instance, by adding photocells and solar power, we could increase the bottle's operational lifespan when deployed in the lake. We could use an air pressure sensor to show the atmospheric pressure at sea level and we could use an accelerometer for defining wave movement and its height. Also, we could create a 3D printed platform and fixture for holding all of our board together inside the bottle to prevent the component to move in case of adverse weather conditions. Uh, to increase the precision of our measurement as well as the bottle's stability, we could use a small rotor attached to the bottom of the bottle. And 
for central hub bottle we could set one of the bottles at the main hub in the middle of a lake to receive all information from other floating bottles possibly connected through infrared and then send it uh, via SMS to the main server. Also we could have some sampler to collect direct water sample from a specific part of the lake for further examination.